Hey, hey, party people, it's Lycona the Chi Chi, and welcome to the easy peasy guide for the Crown of the Immaculate Extreme, or better known as Dodge the AoE's Extreme. You'll see that we put our markers here in the corners. Of course, it's a circle, but it's literally in the corners. And you can use your full openers and pull the boss and tank him in the middle. The first mechanic is called Shadow Reaver. It's simply a party-wide damage, so just heal through it. The next mechanic is called Winged Reprobation. Two random party members will get two tethers, and you want to just take them to the opposite side of the stage. Make sure you don't take the tethers through the party, because there will be little mini AoEs that chase you to the spot where you dropped your AoE. Once you see the AoE around your character and the little arrows, that's when you can start running back into the center. The arrows indicate where the little mini AoEs will go next, so that's why we take them to about this spot here to avoid hitting the party. You can also see how I run in to avoid both the chaser AoE and the AoEs that spawn off of those arrows. The next mechanic is Righteous Bolt, which is the tank buster, and it also gives that tank a lightning debuff. At this point, you want to tank swap, because if you don't, the tank's gonna die. This happens all through the fight, so just tank swap accordingly. Next up, the tethers will come out again on two party members, as well as this blue stuff on the ground. Be sure to dodge this blue stuff, but be careful, because what happens is that that blue stuff comes back to bite you later. You'll see here that at the edge of the arena, there are these golden spears. What they'll do is they'll all charge through the middle, creating sort of an hourglass AoE that you need to avoid. The tricky thing here is that you may have the tether, and while you're running back in, you may have inadvertently got into the path of the blue AoE. But when you're running back in, you can use those golden spears on the outside of the arena as reference points to dodge that blue AoE. Next up, there'll be a fan AoE, which just rotates around the boss, so dodge accordingly. At the same time, two giant AoEs will appear on two players. Just spread these out and try to avoid hitting each other or the party. Next up is the tank swap, and then we'll get some more AoEs to dodge. You'll see here that an AoE spawns from one of the edges, and that blue stuff on the ground appears again. The Golden Spears are once again on the outside of the arena, and will charge back through the middle like last time. The thing that helped me here is to dodge either forward or back between the edge of the arena and the boss in the middle, and not side to side. If you dodge side to side, there's a chance that you may step into the second blue AoE accidentally. So dodge forward and back. Right after all that, there's a party stack line AoE. Everybody stack. Party-wide damage comes out, so heal accordingly. Next up, two party members will get the tethers again, and then there will be a fan AoE. But unlike the first fan AoE, this one's only a two-sided fan rather than a three-sided fan. After that, there's a little bit of downtime, and then we're into the ad phase. First, the boss will jump to the edge of the arena, and three adds will spawn. The DPS will want to hit the middle add, while the two tanks will take one add at the east and one add at the west. Just tank all the adds where they spawn. After the adds are killed, the boss's AoE snapshot happens pretty quickly, so healers, you want to get your mitigation up pretty quick. The first mechanic after adds, he'll spawn these three giant circles. One space will be open, so just drag the boss to that open space and have the party follow. He'll cast party-wide damage, as well as the three circles he put down will explode, creating massive AoEs around them. The party needs to be pretty close to the edge of the arena in order to avoid those three giant AoEs. After those three AoEs explode, pull the boss back into the center in order to continue the fight. Again, we'll see the three-bladed fan AoE appear on the ground, just dodge accordingly. Right after that, we'll get the blue AoEs on the ground, as well as the golden spears at the edge of the arena that will charge back through. And at this point, the boss will hop to one side of the arena, and he'll do a charge through the middle. Now, here's where it gets interesting, because we're going to have to dodge this in a particular position at the edge of the arena because of mechanics that happen later in the fight. We'll worry about that when we get to those mechanics a little later in the guide. Next up is the tank buster that applies the lightning debuff. After that, he'll spawn two of those circle AoEs we saw earlier in the fight, as well as two giant AoEs on two random players, followed by another two giant AoEs on two random players. The key here is to never overlap the player circles with the static white circles on the edge of the arena. If you hit them with your AoE, they will explode. There is plenty of space to have two players in one quadrant, as you see here, so spread out accordingly. 
Next up, we'll get the party stack line AoE, and you want to angle this away from the white circles at the edges. Basically, any AoE mechanic that hits those circles, they will explode. After this, he'll jump to one of the edges of the arena and do a charge through the middle. In this case, there are only two safe spots on the arena. You want to be far enough away from the middle so you don't take damage from his charge through, yet not close enough to the white circle because that explodes as well. The marker that I use in order to dodge this properly is this little vertical railing right here. While it's a bit hard to see, it's in the perfect position to both dodge the boss and the circle AoE. Those vertical railings are spaced out in such a way that if you park your character on that, you're going to dodge both those AoEs every single time. Next up, we're going to get the blue AoEs on the ground, and then the boss is going to put down a circle AoE with little slits cut out. Be careful here, you don't want to move too quickly into those little slits, because you might get sniped by the returning golden spears charging through the middle. So after you see the blue hourglass AoE, park your character right into that slit to dodge the circle AoE coming from the middle. Keep moving your character into the new slits as they appear until the mechanic resolves. At this point in the fight, you've seen all the mechanics, but now we're going to see all of those same mechanics again, just with different combinations. The next major mechanic, the boss will spawn four of the white circles around the edges. A set of feathers will either spawn north or south or east or west. They'll throw out AoEs to the party. What tanks want to do is drag the boss to about here. The reason for this is because right after everyone dodges these AoEs, there's going to be a line stack mechanic. And what you need to do is line up this stack mechanic and hit one of the white circles behind the party. Make sure that the party stacks within the boss's hitbox at this point because the white circle's AoE is rather large. Yet because there are four of the white circles on the stage, there's really no safe spots, so we have to take one of them out. After the white circle AoE explodes, the whole party should run towards the safe spot. The boss also kinda acts weird at this point. He really doesn't follow you, so you're just gonna have to disengage. Drag the boss back into the middle, and then the next mechanic is another tank swap. Next, we'll get the line AoEs, as well as two people will have the tether mechanic on them. After all of that resolves, we'll get our triple fan AoE that rotates around the arena. After that, the boss will put down the three white circle AoEs and then jump to one of the sides, so do a charge through the middle. There's only one safe spot here, so go right to it. Next up, we'll get a blue AoE on the ground with the golden spears at the edge, as well as two people will get the giant AoEs around them and then an additional two people will get another set of giant AoEs around them. You've seen all of this before, so just dodge accordingly. So for the rest of the fight here on out, you've seen all of the mechanics, dodge them as you see fit, pump up the DPS, take down the boss, and get your sweet loot rewards. So all in all, it took about 40 to 45 minutes to learn this fight with my raid group. I want to thank each and every one of them for uh, dealing with all of this. Of course, we all want to get our loot and all want to get our stuff. So if you like this video, if you like this easy peasy guy, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And if I missed anything, leave them in the comments below. I hope this guide really helped you out. Until next time, keep on adventuring. Oh, I am so dead. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I already have it. Oh, nice, sir. Yeah, you, he yeah. actually does. I think I'm gonna win this one. Yeah. No! Oh, 95! It's the best oh roll of my, my life! <laughs>